So, it's begin with that day when I was curious to create animated fuzzy cool rope in Houdini. So, I come up with this. Okay, I call this one a rope man. Maybe this one will be the next superhero for the Marvel or DC. Who's known? Okay, in this video we're gonna turn any animated character to the rope using Houdini 19.5. Let's begin. Okay, okay, welcome back. This is Dyson. Glad to be here. Now let's begin with this curve here. Let's select manipulate tools and let's have a simple curve here. Nice. Now let's have a transfer node. I want to animate this curve. This one is simple animation. Okay. Now let's create a vellum configure here. Okay, now we have this node. Okay, we have this thickness. And now let's create Vellum Solver. Let's begin with the simple one. Let's play. Okay, nothing happened because we need to convert that to polygon. Okay, now we have something. Let me have a ground plane here. Okay, we have some simulation here. That's not bad. Now, let's have a resample node to make this simulation smoother by increasing this point here. Okay, and if you have any animation like this one, <laughs> this is funny, honestly. Okay, the hairs should be stick to the animation. That would be the head. Okay. We have this option here. Let me show you. Okay, we have this animation and let's go here to pin to animation and let's select any point to pin that point to the animation. You see that? Nothing happened. Let's enable this one and boom. We have this cool future. We're gonna use that later on. Okay, now we can bring any animated character and use the bone structure as the curve. By the way, in my Patreon, I have the source file here and you can use this section to follow along with this tutorial. Okay, let's begin. Now let's bring our character by this FX character import. Let me select my FX file. Okay, we have this one from Miximo. Now let's create bone deform to retrieve the animation. Okay, that's the proof we have the animation here. This is not cycle. Okay, let's create a null here to show you each output of this node contains. Okay, this one, the geometry, the rest pose, and now this one we have the animation. You see that? That's as a supply or curve. That's so cool. Okay, we're gonna use this one. Now let's create motion clip to convert this animation to the motion clip. I want to cycle that. You see that? We have this ghost posi uh, poses. And now let's create motion clip evaluate to bring the animation back. You see, we don't have an any animation here. And this one, okay, we have the animation back. So between this node, we're going to use for example, this motion motion eclipse cycle, I guess, yeah, okay, we're gonna cycle that, nothing, because we need to increase this slider, okay, we have this cycling, but we have the issue, the issue is the locomotion, movement or ability to move from one place to another, that's locomotion, okay, this one is in a place animation without locomotion and that with locomotion so 
Let's fix that by extracting this locomotion here. Nice. And let me select the hip. Okay, the hip is the main part for the locomotion. This is the reference. You see, we detect the locomotion and the direction of the movement. So now we have in place animation with the cycling. You see that? Let me show you. That's without the extraction and that's with the extraction. So if you need to bring the locomotion back, you can use this node and choose the ex existing locomotion. Okay, you see that? Now we are cycling the animation, that's cool. Okay, that was a cool trick with the motion clip and cycling the animation. By the way, if you like this kind of video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content and help us to grow. Okay, now we're gonna use this third output. We need just this uh, supply or curve output, you can see that. And let's simulate that and that's what we're gonna have and this is a walking ghost <laughs> that's funny not a bad idea honestly okay uh, that's with pin the animation now i need multiple curve for each section or each bone for this supply or curve here i'm gonna use the sweep node this is a very handy node with this circle not of course okay we don't have anything because we need to change that to polygon okay we have some meshing let's increase the radius and let's fix the orientation of course okay that's what i'm looking for nice we have this one let's disable this locomotion for the sake of this demonstration i'm gonna bring that later on and let me show you from this mesh, I need just these vertical lines here, okay? As a supply or as a curve, of course. Let me show you. The uh, sweep node have an awesome option here for this twist deformation, may say. And let's change that to columns and boom. We have just these vertical lines as a curve. You see that? I love it. <laughs> that's what I needed. Okay, that's not bad a look for now. Okay, we're gonna proceed with that. Let's have explode view here. I wanna show you this supply is not the single one. This is an individual part. And let me set the pin to animation for this point, for example and let's play and boom that's awful you see every supply is disconnected we need to join that with this node here okay you see that the look of the supply is changed let's disable this one for example and the blend and let's enable just the only the connected okay that's nice you see we have a cool look here with less uh, parts okay you can change that with this option okay you see that's not bad and let's play and see what we have now okay we have the pin to animation yeah it's awful <laughs> again we're gonna fix that Okay, now we need to create a custom group to prevent the hair from falling. Let me show you what I meant here. Let's consider that as a hair in vellum. I know this is a USB cable, but be with me. We need to select the beginning of this hair, okay, and the end of this hair, so that the hair will simulate in the middle section. Okay, let me show you in Houdini. Okay, as you can see, we have these hairs and we need to do this operation for each one of them. So, for each one of them means we need four loop. Let's create four loop connected. Okay. Nice man, I love this four loop. It saved me many times. 
okay let's see first let me see everything works correctly yes okay we have these parts here individual part okay now let me show you in here in simple one we have this line for example with these two points let's increase the points okay that's the point we need the beginning and end of this line okay let's have a point jitter to deform or have a noise for these points here not that much let's decrease that okay that's cool okay you see that we need the first and the last point to not affected by this point jitter we need a group expression okay let's change that to point let's use pt num okay greater than zero that's mean one two three four five and so on okay nothing okay what's the problem here oh silly of me we need to uh, add the group here okay you see the first point is not changing the position okay that's the first point the last point we use and sign and pt num less than the last point we tell him the last point by the num pt minus one num pt means the total number for example 12 minus one will be 11 10 8 9 so on so let's bring this group expression to the for loop here and we have this selection group for each line you get it it's easy let me show you now we have this group i want to show you in here let me select the group okay and let's play okay nothing because it's frozen the selected point the middle section we need to invert that by this sign here okay now <laughs> that's what i needed but again this is awful we're gonna fix that okay now let's have a more point and smoother line here okay let's use supplying fit to convert these polygons to the curve let's change that and yeah let's bring that and you see that we have smoother line but we don't have any polygon we have nerves here we're gonna convert that you see okay nothing will work here let me okay show you here you see that the groups everything is not working because we need we have these nerves let's convert that to polygons convert and polygons that's to columns again and let's decrease this one to have uh, original lines cool and let me show you everything works but in smoother way so the line is so lazy let's uh, tweak this bend option in this here okay that's not bad yeah it's cool and maybe let's increase this one yeah i love this one let's proceed okay i got this rope as you can see and it's pretty fuzzy and it's have a cool look and let me show you in macro detail okay this is the same rope you see we have this extra hair the fuzz and this is the overall look for this rope we're gonna mimic this one okay let's begin with this simple line i want to show you the simple idea behind this one and let's create sweep and of course circle okay let me show you here okay let's change this radius okay we have this tube and now let's go here and twist the damn 
mesh here okay which one is you i'm always getting wrong with this one okay we have this decent twist and i need these lines here let's select columns you see that's the lines and now let's create wire uh, nodes okay we have these shapes and let me fix that okay let's change the radius and that's uh, honestly the simple line let's decrease the radius and this one you see that's the basic line okay we're gonna use this idea with these lines here okay it's not bad if you want a cable man this is a cable man you see this is a bunch of cable but we need let me show you here let's decrease these cables for example okay now we need a uh, lines for each one of these cable you see okay now let me show you we're gonna use this sweep to increase the lines you see that if we are increasing this radius the lines will be increasing you see that let me bring the radius down okay maybe this one okay we have the uh, sorry the ropes here see that lovely and we can twist these ropes yeah that's the ropes i love it you see that it is so simple to achieve honestly and yeah that's the basic idea you can expand this theory and have fun with it and yeah this is with the simulation you see everything works correctly and now let me show you my final version of the scene okay this scene contains the tutorial and the final version and the basics and we have this uh, nodes here let me show you the same character and of course we have this smoother line and the same principle and we have this uh, cash simulation of course and I have this awesome growth you can use carve node of course but I use this groom hair for random uh, growth and of course we have this fuzziness you see this extra here okay i create new way to scatter this point on the geometry to prevent them from changing each frame that was a hell of a challenge for me so i use this point to create extra hair as a fuzz you see that and of course this scene is available on my patreon and of course support me on my patreon and with that this is the result honestly i love the simulation it's so smooth and lovely and so ladies and gentlemen with that have a good day see you in the next video